Hi, it's Philo. Welcome back and let's set up August in our bullet journals. Today I'm using paint markers that Artix kindly sent me. This video is not sponsored and I'm not an affiliate. It's a set of 48 acrylic markers with bullet tips that you can use on about any surface and they come with spare nibs. Fun fact, I told Artix I have postcasts that I never use, so don't send me bullet tips, I probably won't use them. But they sent them anyway, and look what happened the day I opened the set, I did my whole August team with them. It's probably because I love the wide range of colors, and they're super easy to activate, judge by yourself. You shake and you pulse three times. And there you go, it's very juicy, enough for a really nice coverage, but not too juicy, so it's uniform and it dries fast. So you have this 48 marker set, but also a 36 marker set if you prefer. And they're having a back to school sale right now. And they're also on Amazon, so I'll leave all the links and codes below. And now let's start planning August. In July, I did a beginner friendly theme with brush pens and you seem to like that. So for this month, I'm doing another beginner friendly theme, this time with paint. It's a simple lettering. You choose a nice font or you make up yours and then you color it. In this case, I saw a font by Kitzo and changed it a bit. I wanted to do big round letters that stand out by themselves. So I wrote August on two lines and alternated between my three main colors, which are pretty neutral. It's very relaxing and therapeutic to color. If you're not sure how to do the letters, draw a U, then you can trace it and copy it upside down to form the A, and then only the bottom of the U for the base of the S and the G that are also curvy, and then the last one is the T and it's the easiest one. And I have to say, I love the result with this paint. It's very homogeneous and plain, not tricky at all. It looks more like gouache. And honestly, I'm impressed with the coverage because all the colors I chose weren't that dark. So usually when you choose lighter colors, you can still see the pencil uh, underneath. But here it's very nice. The coverage is really strong. And even if I chose neutral colors, they look pretty bright, they don't look flat. And this paper takes it great. But if you have a more textured paper, the trick to avoid lifting the paper and damaging your nib is to paint in one direction and not go back and forth on the same spot multiple times. Apart from the lettering, the only doodles I will do in this theme are those very simple flowers that you often see in groovy aesthetic. Flowers are always a good choice for beginners. They are super easy to do and they don't have to be perfect or symmetrical. To fill a bit more the spread and not leave so much empty space, I lettered 2024 with the same font but slightly smaller. And now that all the painting is done and dry, I can outline everything with the fine liner. It's absolutely not necessary, you can stop there if you want. But this way I can add a drop shadow on the right side of each letter and make them look thicker and groovier.
On the top right corner, I add a half circle like I saw on Kitsos font and I'm writing summer. So it's just those little details, you know, it's nothing really hard to do, but it adds a bit more details and something interesting to the page. And to bring everything together, I'm doing a frame around it with a fine liner. Of course, we need round corners to fit this style. And there you have your cover. Now onto the monthly spread. And I'm doing the same lettering as I did on the cover, only a bit smaller so I can fit it all in one line. And I changed the order of the colors on the second part of this header because the letters are not stacked anymore. And this way I have all the space I need below for the functional part of the spread. And let's not forget a flower on each side. In previous months, I dedicated a spread for my habits and meal trackers, but I'll be on vacation part of August, so I can't really meal plan. So what I did is I brought my habit trackers on the monthly spread, and I'm coloring each habit tracker on the left using my color combo. That was super satisfying to color, and I think it's super satisfying to watch too. On the right, I'm just drawing frames for the sections where I'll have to write inside, like the books I read and the focus. And at the bottom of the calendar, I will add my socials. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, you can subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any video or shorts with the last three remaining weeklies of August. And I'm also on the other platform where I post still pictures that you can save for inspiration. Here I'm coloring each weekly header, alternating the colors from my color palette And I'm using my stems for the dates and sections. So I track the days where I work out or do long walks and the days I post on social medias, but also the books I read that you see in my reading journal videos every month and what I want to focus on this month. For now, it's 40 degrees, so I focus on the pool and the fan. <laughs> Thank you. 
Usually I stamp the dates in the calendar, but this time I didn't have the patience. But on the weekly spreads you'll see me using stamps on the paint and it works fine. I'm writing a mini calendar in each habit tracker and to fill this in along the month I think I'll just circle the days with my pen. Please ignore the fact that there is one line more for each habit tracker and I don't know if I just miscalculated or I wanted to include the days of the week maybe, <laughs> we'll never know. And the last step is this frame around the whole page and that's it, here we have our monthly spread. And now with the weeklies for August, I already cut my Dutch doors off camera. Sometimes cutting them on camera feels like too much pressure, I don't know. <laughs> and as I've been doing for a few months now, here I plan the first week and then I'll post shorts with the following weeks. I tend to do weeklies in each theme until the week that includes the last days of the month. So meaning for July the 31st falls on a Wednesday, so I did the week from the 29th of July until the 4th of August in my July theme. And here the first week I'm doing starts the 5th of August. So here again I'm starting with all the painting parts, so a big A with flowers for August on the left side and a big S for September on the right side. A section for my work hours tracker on the bottom left of the spread. And in each weekly layout I'll do a different disco pattern. So on this one I'm doing a groovy checker. To do that, you just draw a checker, except instead of drawing straight lines, you do waves to create that optical effect. Then you color one of two squares and that's it. The paint dries so fast, I already started with the fine liner. But really, I wasn't done with the painting, so starting from there, the video is a bit all over the place because it's painting, then fine liner, then painting again. Just go with the flow, I guess. <laughs> for the first weekly, I went with circles for the days, again alternating between the colors of our color palette, except it's not perfect, but it's good enough. <laughs> Then on the left side I need a mini calendar for August and on the right side I'll also do a mini calendar for September. This way I always have an overview of both months at any time during the month. Here on the bottom right I'll have a to-do list for September and I'm always super excited for September because when I was younger I was going back to school so I love that moment of the year. And now it's just, it's so hot during the summer, so I'm waiting for September.
And we've already reached the flip through of this August groovy bullet journal setup with big lettering and bright colors. Thank you again to Artix for this awesome gift. I truly had a blast and it was such a good surprise. I hope you too enjoyed this colorful theme and don't forget to check out their back to school sale down below. If you've made it till the end, leave me this emoji and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you soon in the next one. And until then, enjoy planning!